Hi there, welcome to Sir Mathegut channel. Today I am going to discuss quadratic equation. A quadratic equation is a mathematical statement of degree 2. The standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared positive bx positive c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should never be equal to zero. If a is zero, the equation will no longer be quadratic because ax squared becomes zero. This ax squared is called quadratic term. bx is called linear term. c is called the constant term. Again, A should never be 0, but we can have B and C equal to 0. If B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 0, we have AX squared is equal to 0. This is still a quadratic equation because the degree is 2. Example, 4X squared positive 12X positive 9 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 4, b is equal to 12, and c is equal to 9. We can also see quadratic equation like this. 2x squared is equal to negative 7x, negative 6. We can change this to a standard form and identify a, b, and c. We want to make 0 the right side of the equation. To do that, we will apply addition property of equality or APE. So let's give a space at the left side. We have 2x squared, negative 7x, negative 6. We add both sides, the opposite of negative 7x, that is positive 7x. We also add both sides the opposite of negative 6, that is positive 6. So we now have 2x squared positive 7x positive 6 is equal to negative 7x negative 6 positive 7x positive 6. Negative 7x positive 7x is equal to 0. And negative 6 positive 6 is equal to 0. So the right side now is 0. We now have 2x squared positive 7x positive 6 is equal to 0. This equation is already in standard form. a is equal to 2, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 6. But we have a shortest way to change to standard form the quadratic equation. Okay, again, we have 2x squared is equal to negative 7x, negative 6. Just transpose negative 7x to the left and negative 6 to the left. So we have now 2x squared positive 7x, positive 6 is equal to 0. Remember that when we transpose the expression to the other side of the equation, the sign will change also. Another one we have change 5x squared is equal to negative 4 positive 3x to standard form. The shortest way is we have to transpose negative 4 and positive 3x to the left side and we have now 5x squared negative 3x positive 4 is equal to 0. A is 5, B is negative 3, C is positive 4. 4x times the quantity x minus 5 is equal to 8. This is a quadratic equation, but not in standard form. We can change this to standard form. We can apply the distributive property. So we have 4x times x is equal to 4x squared. 4x times negative 5 is negative 20x. Bring down 8. And 
transpose positive 8 to the left. We now have 4x squared negative 20x negative 8 is equal to 0. This is now the standard form. And A is 4, B is negative 20, C is equal to negative 8. Another quadratic equation is 2x positive 1 times 3x positive 2 is equal to 6. We can change this standard form by applying the FOIL method. So we have 2x times 3x is equal to 6x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. Positive 1 times 3x is positive 3x. And positive 1 times 2 is positive 2. Then, combine similar terms. 6x squared, positive 7x, positive 2. And this must be equated to 6. 6x squared, positive 7x, positive 2 is equal to 6. And transpose 6 to the left. And our quadratic equation now is 6x squared positive 7x negative 4 is equal to 0. A is 6, B is 7, C is negative 4. Here is a test and I would like you to change the following into standard form and find A, B and C. Number 1. Standard form. Number 2 Standard form Number 3 Standard form Number 4 Standard form Number 5 Standard form 